Hey guys, Sam here at NA Studios. Today I want to show you how we can get a perfect guitar sound when we're using two microphones. Now this is to do with the phase with the microphones, the polarity of the microphones. And there's a couple of terms here we need to define before we go too much further. And we're going to see how the phase of the microphones can affect the sound, how getting them perfectly in phase can get you a perfect guitar sound. Let's check it out. So when we're dealing with phase in guitars, what we're actually dealing with is how soon the signal meets the microphone. We want the signal from the guitar cab to meet both microphones at the exact same time. Now it doesn't have to be a cab, it can be a combo, whatever it is, the source needs to meet the two microphones at the same time, otherwise we're going to have issues. And you can hear on this track here, I've been moving one of the microphones and keeping the other one static and you'll be able to hear the difference, you'll be able to hear how the sound changes when I move the microphone back and forth. So it's got that kind of phasey, swirly sound um, that if we want it, we'll put it on a pedal. But we don't want it on absolutely everything all the time. We want that option. So phase and polarity, what are they? Well, phase is a left to right. It's a, it's a time motion and it's about where the wave goes up and where it comes down. And polarity is about an up and down. So often you'll hear people say flip the phase, invert the phase. They don't really mean that. What they actually mean is invert the polarity. So if we have the phase of two signals, it means that the up motion is at a different time on one microphone than it is the other one. Or in other words, one of the microphones is at a different distance from the source than the other microphone. So it's taking longer for that signal to reach that microphone. And this is going to vary from frequency to frequency because obviously it, the wavelengths are, are different and that distance is going, to, is going to change. Polarity is about the up and down. So if we invert the polarity, then we make all the positive waves negative and all the negative waves positive. And you can do that, you can invert the polarity of your microphone input by pressing the polarity switch, or it's often called the phase switch, on your desk, on your interface, or whatever it is you're recording through. So there's a simple, simple way that we can get our guitars perfectly in phase, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it now. Let's take a listen to a guitar recording that I've just done, and we've got two microphone channels here. The top one is a microphone that is on the right-hand speaker of the cab, and the bottom one is on the left-hand speaker. I've just thrown these up, so I've not made sure that they're in phase. If we just listen to one of the microphones... <laughs> Okay, sounds cool. But then if we bring in the second one as we're playing it, we're going to hear this kind of swirly, weird, phasey kind of sound, which is what we want to not get. We don't want to achieve this in our guitar sounds. <laughs> And if we actually zoom in on the waveform, we can see that these two don't align. So here we can see that we've got a peak and then we've got a trough. And the same peak and trough doesn't happen until over here on the second track. So these two are out of phase and it's giving us that sort of swirly, empty, hollow sound. Not what we want. Here's how you stop getting it. What you need to do is set up two microphones on a guitar cab, a guitar speaker, whatever it is and set one of them to be out of phase with the other one. That's your polarity switch, your phase switch, whatever it is. Whatever it is on your interface or your way of recording, press it. Then turn your amp up as loud as possible so you're just getting the hiss. We're not going to be playing it, we're not going to be annoying any neighbours, we're just going to be getting the hiss coming out of the amp. Then you want to put some headphones on so that you can hear that hiss. And with one microphone out of phase, you want to move one of the microphones whilst listening to that hiss. When that hiss disappears, or you get as little of it as possible, that means that your microphones are completely out of phase. So that then, when you press that phase switch, it brings them back into perfect phase. So it's a bit of a weird concept, but in order to get something perfectly in phase, we need to put it completely out of phase first, and then put it back in phase. The concept here is that it's far easier to hear when something is out of phase than when it's in phase. If we were just listening to both signals and moving a microphone around, then it would be a little bit difficult. It's far easier to put the microphone out of phase and listen to when there's silence or as near to silence as you can get. 
and then when you invert the polarity of that other microphone it's going to be perfectly in phase and you're going to get a much better sound so here i'm going to move my second microphone with that polarity switch engaged so it's out of phase i'm going to wait until i hear as near to silence as i can possibly get and know that that is the right spot So let's listen to that same section again with it now perfectly in phase and we'll compare the sound of that one to the sound of the original out of phase guitar and we'll hear how much better it sounds. <laughs> And you can see here as well, all the peaks are lining up, all the peaks and indeed the troughs are in line with each other, so we know it's perfectly in phase. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful for you and I hope it allows you to get that perfect guitar sound that's in your head. I'll see you again soon. Take care.